If you watched our first video, you've learned how to do the spotlight technique using Apple's Keynote for iPad. If you haven't watched that video yet, go back and watch that one as it'll make this one make a whole lot more sense. Because now, instead of simply spotlighting one place, we're gonna show you how you can use different shapes and highlight multiple places. Or, instead of just showing one particular verse, you can show the entire context of where it comes from, even if it's not a straight single shape. And if you want to have a little bit more fun, you can even make custom spotlights that work great for themes like this one for the map of one of our favorite amusement parks. I'll show you how to do that today on this advanced spotlight technique video with Apple's Keynote for iPad. So here we are on our iPad in Keynote. To do this, similar to what we did last time, we'll create a new photo slide. We'll go in there as we did before, and we'll add that photo, like for instance, the one with the map. And then just like before, We'll go over to that slide and we'll duplicate it so we have our second slide. Tap on this image, copy it, then go up here and reduce the opacity. If it doesn't show up right away, make sure you're on the style tab, bring it down here. For our purposes today, we'll go to 17%. Now, go ahead and paste that image. When you wanna go up here to the plus sign, you can add a circle like we did before, or you can choose any of these shapes. They have a whole variety here of different shapes you can pick from. But for the spotlight, and just to keep things simple today, we're gonna to go over to basic, or we're gonna choose star. Now, we'll zoom in and pick a few places we wanna drop a star on the map. Maybe down here in Brazil is one. Then, copy that shape, paste it, and we'll put this one here over the United Kingdom. Then, we'll copy that shape again, paste it, and put this one over India. Similar to what we've done before, this will be a two-step process. You first hold down one shape with a the finger, then tap the other shapes, go up to the paintbrush, and if you go to the bottom here, it gives you an option to combine shapes. We'll choose this first one here on the left. Now, Keynote sees that as one shape. So with that selected, we tap our image, we'll have the option again to mask with shape. When we hit done, we can see that now we've gotten that spotlight effect on three different places instead of just one. So we go over here, set our transition, we'll be able to spotlight three locations instead of just one. You could do this with the regular technique one at a time, but to show three at once, you have to combine those shapes together and not just group them for that masking to work. Now the other option we showed you was the text. So we'll create that new photo slide, go to our album, choose that picture. Then again, same thing. Duplicate the slide, go over here, copy the image, go to the paintbrush, bring this down to about 30% or so, so we can still see it paste it. Now we're going to use that rounded rectangle again. And again, we'll zoom in so we can see it. We're going to where we started. And this time we're going to use three shapes. We want to highlight this column of text. Then we'll copy. We'll paste. We want to go over here and do an even longer one. And because we don't want to have any gaps, we'll go ahead and make this connect right there. Bring this to the right a little bit more. Then, we'll just hit paste one more time, bring this shape up here, we'll drag that corner. Now, same thing, hold that one down, tap the second one, tap the third one, hit your paintbrush, and at the bottom here, choose combine shapes, and now Keynote will see that as one image. So now when you hold that down and tap your image, you can mask with shape, hit done, and now you've got that whole section selected like some weird shape spotlight. You wanna go on there and set your transition to dissolve. Obviously you can use other transitions for other effects. With a spotlight that seems to work really well. You have your text with a giant uh, context or area selected instead of just one. And the last one, choose the photo again from that amusement park. 
want to drag that over. It looks like it's cropped it to fit the screen. So we're going to go up here with image and choose edit mask. And we're going to slide it over so it all fits on screen. You can even drag it to make it larger if you want, but it already is kind of maxed out top to bottom. So we'll hit done. We've got that how we want it. Remember, we always want to set the first one up the way we want it. Then go over here and duplicate that slide. On this one, copy that image. We'll do like we did with the book, about 30%. And now we'll paste that image on top. And this time we'll go up here and choose that circle again. Obviously, that's what we want to use. We'll zoom in a bit here. And then we'll copy and paste that image. We want to make it a little bit smaller. And drag one over here. Copy that. Paste this one. Use the guide so they're evened up. Now tap and tap. Go up here to the paintbrush. Don't just group them. Choose on here to combine the shapes. Now it sees that as one new shape. You can drag that wherever you want to spotlight. Let's say we also want to do more of these, so we'll copy it and we'll paste it and put one over here. And then we'll put one more over here. Now, holding that one down, tap the other two, go up to our paintbrush, go down and combine those shapes. Now with those selected, tap the image, mask with shape, hit done. We can go over here and set our transition to dissolve. And now you can have a fun little conversation with your friends and family, plan your vacation to an amusement park, and you can highlight the three areas that you wanna make sure you hit on your visit. That is the advanced uh, spotlight technique with Apple's Keynote for iPad. Uh, if you like this video, if you hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. If you got any thoughts on this or other tips that you like to use with Keynote for iPad, leave a comment below. If there's someone else that might benefit from seeing this video, use that share button to send them a link. And then finally, if you haven't already, hit subscribe to be a part of this. And then use the spotlight technique and show off your presentation skills the next time you have information to share. Thank you.